Hi there, and welcome back to this series on MailMate. My name is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and a diehard enthusiast. In this video, we're taking a look at the topic of power user visual tags, or you're a power user, we're going to be using visual tags. And this is basically tagging things so that we have a lot more power in our email. Let's take a look at MailMate, see what I'm talking about. So as I open up the window right here, I've got the widescreen view. And one of the things that we have available to us, both in the browser, if you're using Gmail or most clients, is the ability to flag email. Now as I switch over to Chrome here, and I'll need to show that window. There we go, we've got that up. I can of course move through my email, which I'm doing with the keyboard commands of J and K right now, moving to the different messages. But the S key actually allows me to star items or to basically flag them. Now these are the settings that are flags in MailMate that are stars within Gmail. You can see right there that the uh, MailMate window has reflected that I've taken those tags off. In fact, if I go over to MailMate, because this is an IMAP account, if I'm moving with my J key, both up and down, my H now, and if I hit the S key, of course that item is going to get flagged. In fact, you can see up here as I flag items, notice up in the corner in my bar, I've got two items now that are flagged. This is a nice little feature of MailMate where I get a nice ability to see what's flagged or what's unread, what uh, the total count is. You have full control over four items within this area. You can control the color, the counts, and what actually is shown. We'll see that in another video. But the flags that you see here as I move through my mail are the same thing as stars when you're looking within Gmail itself. These stars, only one of them is showing up so far. They haven't synchronized quite yet, but as they do, they will reflect on each other. So my Gmail account, those with stars, will actually have flag, uh, the flag character. Now, the one of the really biggest advantages of MailMate are smart folders. In fact, you've, if you've never gotten used to smart folders in any application, a Apple Mail or what have you, you are not taking full advantage of what the client can do. And MailMate, using smart folders, can filter on anything, any particular piece of information within emails in order to facilitate better organization for the whole of your email world. Now, everything that we have up here up at the top, all of the default boxes that are added by most clients, I simply tend to ignore those these days. What I like to do is I like to customize my mail client so that it basically reflects exactly how I want to work. What do I want to see? Do I want to see just the mail from the last five days exclusive of all of the different junk mail that I get, such as mail from Twitter, YouTube, and Tumblr, etc.? Do I want to see in its own dedicated folder all of my dedicated Google alerts, things that I'm specifically interested in? And do I want those to show up up in my little bar here in terms of as they come in throughout the course of the day? Well, that's where we get into using these smart folders in conjunction with using tagging. And we're going to do visual tagging in the remainder of this video. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my smart folders up to the top because that's what's going to be my priority is being able to see my mail the way that I want to see my mail. Now I have a couple of them here. I have flagged and I have tagged. Now flagged is really pretty simple. As I double click on this smart folder, what we're going to be able to see is that we've got a number of things in terms of how a smart folder works. First off, we have our mailboxes. What are the sources that you want to see the mail from? Now you can choose any, all, or none. Now none is really only going to come into play when you've already chosen one of these other two options, either all or any. None is going to allow you to basically create a compound expression where, say, for example, you say all of all messages, which includes all sources, that's any number of accounts that you have, all messages will grab all of that. If I didn't want all messages, then probably what I would choose is I would go to the specific source account, in this case, my QWERTY mailbox, 
and I could choose Gmail as a whole. Well, I can choose this one right here. You don't have to choose a sub option. So I can choose for this mail, this particular smart mailbox, to only work off of my QWERTY source. That means everything that's in this Gmail account. Or if I want to be more specific, I can choose just the inbox, which would, which would exclude all of my drafts, sent mail, spam, trash, everything with regards to how Gmail actually organizes things. So if I archive something and I look at the inbox, it would only be items that are in the inbox, not items that are archived. If I choose QWERTY, that will also include archived. If I choose all messages, that's a special mailbox that chooses all sources, all email. So it really is up to you in terms of what you're going to want to filter on. But we need to get some items tagged so that we can actually see them first. So when we look at the second area of our smart mailboxes, we have the conditions. And these are the two that you're primarily going to use. Sub mailboxes is a nice feature that will break any, will take any smart mailbox filtered content and break it down into all of its constituent parts based on whatever header you want. It can be the subject, it can base, be based on the sender, what have you. Rules is going to allow you to do things based on when MailMate specifically processes mail and actually does something to that mail based on rules. But that's only going to happen when the mail comes into MailMate or when MailMate first sees it. There's another way to filter your mail and that's at the source. If you're using Gmail, which I am in this particular case, remember in your settings, you have your first layer of filtering which is possible and that's in your filters and blocked addresses. So here, at the server source where the mail is first actually received, you have filtering capabilities and MailMate will take advantage of all of those and it will respect all of the mailboxes and the tags, or excuse me, the way that Gmail tags things. It will do that respective of what it shows here in the actual client. So remember, you can filter on the server first where the email actually hits. And that's where I prefer to do the bulk of my filtering, my core filtering. Then when it gets to how do I want to see the mail, how do I want to see the information, that's when I get into smart mailboxes. Now the conditions, again, these are the two that you're going to be working with the most, mailboxes and conditions. You can see right here that I have one already set up where all of these must be true in order for this smart mailbox to render results. Looking at the tags or the keywords, I want you to include everything that is flagged. So that's really simple. That's a very easy solution. These are my source mailboxes. Looking at all messages, the conditions under which you will actually show me something according to the smart mailbox is the tags or keywords are going to include flagged. So when we look at this other one, and I had to show you that smart mailbox first because now we're going to look at this one right here, priority. Priority is not going to exist in MailMate by default. But when we look at this smart mailbox by double clicking, we can see that again, we're filtering or we're referencing all messages in all mailboxes. But looking at the conditions, you can see that the tags keywords include the tag of priority. Now priority doesn't automatically come with MailMate. I had to set that up. So when we select here, you can see the standard options that are available. Seen, flagged, whether it's a draft or not, answered, forwarded, muted, junk or not junk. But then we have this option of other or priority. I created this particular tag and you can also use an icon in order to reference or know what is a priority versus what is not. So let's take a look at how we set that up. So setting up a visual tag is a very easy thing to do within MailMate. You can see up here, up in the top of this toolbar that I have something set up right here for my tags. Now tags don't initially show up. You have to actually create them and you can do that by accessing the preferences. So within preferences, there's going to be a section right here for tags. And you can access this also when this menu is showing by simply clicking and choosing tags preferences. Once you bring up the setting, 
you can actually add as many tags as you want. You simply click the little plus icon and you can create a new tag. Let's say for example you have one titled work related. So I have a work related tag. Now tags are really only going to work within the context of MailMate. It's not going to translate over to your Gmail account or your IMAP account. You're going to actually have to set up folders over in Gmail if you want to push particular messages that you select into those folders and have it reflected within your MailMate as well. But within the context of MailMate alone, you can set up these tags. Now in order to get this little icon, all we have to do is double click in order to edit and we can choose right here, there is a keyboard setting where you can show emojis and symbols. And as those come up, all of the emojis that you're used to in Apple's messages, on the iPhone, etc., you can access all of those by simply clicking whatever you want. So if there's something that's specific to you for work, let's say it's a light bulb, I'm just going to double click the light bulb and you can see that the light bulb for anything that's tagged that is work related allows you to see that, I, uh, that light bulb or the exclamation point based on when you tag it. So what we're looking at is when we, if you remember the previous video that I shot, or if you didn't look at it, go look at the one about key bindings. This is when you can add a key binding in order to apply a tag specifically to a message. What we need to do is we need to make it so that this tag is now visible in the actual view that we're looking at. Remember, in one of the early introduction videos, I mentioned that you can right click and show any of the headers that you want to see out of the long list of available items that MailMate will show. Well, tags is one of those, inclusive of the little icons that we have that we can show. So by turning that on, we're able to see anything that is tagged with that visual icon. And of course, I can drag this so that it's at the beginning or anywhere within the columns according to how I want to arrange them. So here I can see what is unread, what is flagged, and what's tagged as priority. And on top of that, with my smart folder now, I can actually say out of all messages, the conditions is if one of the tags include my own custom tag of priority, and you can see right here that we've got the recently added work related, I'm going to be able to see all of those specific items and filter them out into this smart folder.